smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. The world is waking up. Kids are going to school. 7.30 in the morning. Not your average house. About 30 minutes of zigzagging through roads and I finally get to Putney Heath, which I should be in for a couple of miles, I think. This is in the centre of London. It's a incredible forest. I wondered how I was going to cross this road in Putney. Putney Heath. It's a nice underpass. A pond called King's Mere. Deep in a wood. And I can hardly hear the traffic. And I'm in the centre of London. Madness. I can see a runner. A long way ahead. Heading towards Royal Wimbledon Golf Club. And Wimbledon itself. So I should see that in the next half hour or so. out of the, the park, the woods, into a small bit on the edge of Wimbledon, and then I turn across onto Wimbledon Common, like a womble. Cutting across Wimbledon Common, we have a circus. I'm not sure if it's setting itself up, or whether it feels like it's taking itself down because school holidays are over, so probably coming down. in the centre of London. Cutting through some railway sidings and between houses. Good morning, day five of the Compton of Vaudreuil twinning trek. So I started in Putney. I'm almost all the way through Wimbledon but um, really the objective for today is to get outside the M25 to a place called Red Hill where I have another bit of accommodation. But hopefully the weather is quite nice today. But it's a series of parks we go through. Been through a couple already. Um, but I imagine when we get closer to the M25 and when we get over it, I'll hopefully be back into some sort of countryside. But we'll wait to see. But as always, let's see where the day takes us. Mostyn Road. It's going to be a long, straight road. Every now and again, I do get these footpath signs, which give you a... Uh, a route through. I've been walking for about a quarter of a mile through <laughs> suburbs in a pretty much straight line and I come out into something called Morden Park and uh, looks like there's a mosque. Another quite large open space but for the purpose of walking it's a concrete path. I think I'm going up and over that walkway. Into another park to cut across with runners and pedestrians and everybody. This is quite funny for me, because
because come into a place called Sutton Sports Village where I don't know how many times I've been here with both boys uh, for tennis matches of various sorts. I think I'm on this road for a very long time as we go through Sutton. I actually recognise this road, but Rose Hill. But uh, yeah. Oh well. Sutton Market. Not sure whether it's every day, probably is. A very, very long pedestrianised high street. and onto Banstead Common, it says. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Crossing a busy road for a hole in the, in the hedge. You get over and it says it's a public footpath. So, away we go again. Finally just outside Banstead and we begin to get into open countryside again oh how I've missed it but I know I've got more road walking to do but at least a little bit of countryside wow pick a path going across a field and there are two gentlemen on it they're going that way and my path is this way another lovely field edge one after another one of these private estates Come down from that road. Couldn't see anything. They got two for sale signs in front of the path sign. Millennium Trail. This Millennium Trail goes straight through the middle of a golf course. Through the golf club and their scrub on the edge of their golf club come out to open fields. It's supposed to be the Millennium Trail. I'm not sure how long the last person who's been on it. Signposted Millennium Path. This is the widest bit of it so far. Most of it's been overgrown. It's a beautiful day. Managed to get out of Banstead and all the other London boroughs. And now you're out into farm country. There's nobody about. Completely peaceful. As you walk across the field, you can see absolutely nothing. And then you get within three yards, five yards, and you see the gate. We're less than half a mile from the N25 from crossing it and you can't hear anything well, apart from a plane it's a thin road I wondered how we were going to get across the M25 and the answer is underneath and it takes about a minute at good pace to get all the way through I've been on the Millennium Path for a bit, but here are some concrete statues.
a very structured path and on these stones going up and over the hill it's probably where I'm going uh-huh you're all huddling together hey eh? being good friends These signs are often hidden in trees, but this is the way I've got to go. Into the suburbs of Redhill, past the allotments on the outskirts of Redhill. Starting to leave Redhill now, out the back a bit into a region called Earlswood. Loads of hospital workers walking the other way as I'm heading towards one of the bigger hospitals around here. So coming to the end of the day, really far end, following a cycle route. Um, and my accommodation is slightly off to the right. Smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>